The journey and the process behind the making of tea is a very long one. Every process step has a design, desired output. And it begins on the farm, far away from where the actual processing happens. Growing and processing of tea is an art that demands attention to detail. Kenyan tea is arguably one of the best brands in the world. Most tea produced in Kenya is black tea, with green tea, yellow tea, and white tea produced on order by major tea producers. So with this, we are able to conserve what is already in the forest. It derives its rich taste from the fertile volcanic soils. Favorable rainfall conditions of between 1,200 and 1,400 millimeters per annum. In Kenya, the production of tea uses the cut, tear, and curl, or simply CTC method. In the CTC, the main aim is to cut that leaf, curl them into sizes of particles. One of the largest players in that business is the Nyayo Tea Zone that boasts two factories. Stacked in the outskirts of Kapsabit town in Nandi County is Kipchabu Tea Factory. Here we get to understand how tea is made. Tea is made from the leaves of a plant species called Camellia sinensis. Harvest time is during the plant's peak growing season. In the huge farms located in Bomet, Kericho and Nandi counties in Kenya, Workers handpick what is known as the flash, a grouping of two young leaves and a bud which grows out at the top of the plant. A tea plant produces a new flash every 7 to 15 days. For Kipchabo Tea Factory and the entire Nyayo Tea Zone, a tea master directs every stage of tea production. From the farms, tea leaves are transported to Kipchabo Tea Factory. Everything is done with utmost care. From the special bags they are packed in, to how they are arranged in lorries, everything must be done meticulously. At the factory, tea leaves are weighed and spread on troughs. What is happening here? We're using uh, equipment called the monorail, transporting the green leaf bags to the withering troughs. And we have two systems the old withering, which is the open troughs, and the continuous withering right behind me, where it's now more mechanized. And at our desk here, this is where we do our leaf quality analysis. Well, we sample every truck and every delivery on the achievements of the targeted 75%. So we sample a few bags, then the leaf is analyzed into different categories. For example, this is a three leaves and a bud. She'll put it with the respective area. Then at the end of the analysis, she'll count the majority of the percentage in terms of the uh, physical count. Patrick Saina keeps an open eye to ensure every step is followed. This is now the open troughs, which is, uh, has a capacity of around 1,000 in every trough. And that is done by manual spreading, as you can see in our staff. 
and uh, enhancement of one uh, fan. And the hot air is also enhanced at the radiator at the end of there. Now, on the other side, there is the continuous withering, where we are conveying the green leaf received from the trucks to the chemical compartments. As you can see, the conveyors are also spreading the leaf before it falls through the chemical compartments. We have two chemical compartments, each with a capacity of 15,000. So our total capacity here per day, we can be able to accommodate 30,000 kgs of green leaf. He knows that any mistake will lead to a product of low quality. The leaves then undergo a withering freeze, a process where conditioned air is circulated between the leaves initially to remove any surface moisture and thereafter to concentrate and chemically break down the tea juices. It takes 10 to 14 hours for the physical and chemical changes to take place and bring the leaf to a soft and rubbery condition suitable for the next stage of manufacture. Depending on the season. During wet seasons, it takes a longer time. During the dry season, like now, what you're experiencing, it's a shorter time. For, and that's now enough, and it will enable us to process the next step. Now we have achieved our withers, what we received uh, yesterday. This is at 67-68% uh, moisture content. This is ideal for the process area. So what we are doing with our staff, they are discharging it to the conveyor right ahead there. The conveyor brings the tea leaves here at the rotavan machines. The roller machine applies pressure on the leaf in stages. As they twist and turn, they rupture the leaf cell walls and bring the juices to the surface of the leaf. Various types of rollers are used. The first roll is often very gentle and known as the preconditioning roll. The main action of the preconditioning roll has been found to be the gentle expression of the leaf juice onto the surface of the twisted particles. These juices dry up on the surface of the particles to contribute to the blackness of tea. Subsequent rolling is programmed to achieve a thorough breakdown of the leaf cells. A considerable amount of heat is generated by friction during the rolling process. But workers have to ensure that the temperature does not exceed 35 degrees Celsius. Undesirable chemical and enzyme reactions could occur at higher temperatures. And the end product could be tea of poor quality. Demand in terms of quality is rising over the time. And there's also competition from other beverages. So we are not key in particular in terms of quality. We might lose our market. If we lose our market, it will drain our flows, uh, cash flows. If we lose our cash flows, we will not be able to sustain our programs in terms of conservation. That is why we are here to sustain and ensure that our product sells, we generate revenues. The roller breaker then shifts the leaves.
then it is spread out on an even surface. And left to allow oxidation or what is referred to as fermentation. We are targeting a temperature monitoring, oxygen, and then we use the catalyst in the, within the tea components. That's the reason why it will change from the greenish background to the reddish brown in the 80 minutes. The breaking up of cells which causes the mixing up of the enzymes with the other chemical compounds within the cell results in a number of reactions, the most important being the oxidation of polyphenols. An additional reaction that occurs during fermentation is the formation of some flavor compounds. And this is enhanced basically with good quality leaf. It's much faster reaction with good quality. Lower quality will take a longer time. So that uh, greenish stage is the initial cutting stage. Enhancement of oxygen with the temperatures around 30 degrees, uh, 35, 36 degrees with the catalyst will react and uh, form what you call the TFs. T the fermented leaves are passed through the dryer which generates high heat. Workers here do so to stop the fermentation and chemical reactions in the tea leaves. At this stage, most of the leaf moisture is removed and fermentation is stopped by destroying the enzymes. The flavor of the tea is also balanced during firing as some of the lesser desirable low boiling compounds are removed, thus accentuating the presence of more useful higher boiling compounds. It is then sent here for sorting and grading. It is sorted into particle sizes by sending them through sifters that sift them through different meshes. This helps to categorize the teas into different grades. Dust, Pekoe, BOP and etc. The med tea is then tested and assessed by the tea maker and expert testers to ensure it meets all quality standards in terms of leaf appearance, aroma, cup color and character of the tea. My name is Enoxicolia and I am the Kenyan historian.